Why Wapato? It's a small town. Why not? I was like, Wapato needs something. Wapato in Lower Yakima Valley. <laughs> it's very family-based. Everybody knows everybody. Has roots rich in Hispanic heritage. Salud de Yakima. Wandola. It's hard working out here in the farm. A small farm town that's had more than its fair share of big scandals. The community was slowly just drifting away from each other. Hi, I'm Fidel Negrete. I'm the owner of Fidel's Coffee House and Juice Bar. When you look at the photos of what this building used to look like, you saw it was destroyed. The building just needed some care and some love to bring it to life. It just showed that this town needed to have something to grow, especially after what it went through. It left the town broke, pretty much, yeah. He's talking about what happened at City Hall. A state audit found years and years worth of evidence of city money missing to the tune of more than $300,000. People got tired of the bad headline. My name is Jesse Farias, and I'm a city councilman for the city of Wapato. Farias says the people of Wapato took matters into their own hands. They formed a group and petitioned the attorney general of the state of Washington and the prosecutor attorney of Yakima County. You need to come down and help us. We're in trouble. And they did come down and help. In 2019, the state did step in with a complaint against the city of Wapato for violations of Washington's Code of Ethics for Municipal Officers, and changes were made to implement tighter controls for city funds. But today, Wapato is still rebounding. One of the biggest issues is how to bring economic growth to the community. Well, we still have quite a few empty buildings. Evidence of that is visible on street after street. My name is Elizabeth Torres, Radio KDNA. Gracias por I always see Radio Cadena as the bridge between the community and the services as a way to provide information to the farm worker community in the Yakima Valley. We're here announcing, putting PSAs, you know, if you guys are looking for clothes or supplies or help, Give KDNA a call. Today they're going to talk about COVID. Of course, we're in a pandemic, right? When COVID started, we were kind of like the red zone. People realized it was getting serious. We had family members that also passed away because of the COVID. Yustra yeah. Alvarez has two jobs, one picking cherries. The other involves long hours on the farm with her entire family working by her side, including son Luis, who offered to translate. It was difficult with this because last year our whole family got infected by COVID-19 and, and it was yeah. really hard during those times. You heard that right. The entire family got COVID-19. The access to health care is another big issue, primarily to the farm worker community it doesn't have access. Efrain Martinez knows that well. Thank you. His parents were part of that community. We would usually go to work right after the last day of school. The next day I had to wake up at 3 in the morning. Since I was 8, to tell you the truth. And from a young age, he was working on the farm right beside them. Since I was a tall kid, I would pass. An eligible age at that time was like 12 or 14. But today, he's running this business with Fidel. Every day, gloves, cleaning, fixing. When they started, right before the pandemic hit. It did slow down quite a bit. Like, a lot. They've been able to push through the slow times. You want to make me a coffee? I haven't had one all day. Their focus now is their community's future. On the beach, regular, and then uh, having in a cup. Sounds good. Me and Efren talk to a lot of people every day, and they get to connect with us it's good. in different ways. Everything I make is good. After nine years of knowing each other, they've become partners in business. He's not wrong. And partners in life. I think we like to paint a better image for people to see that it's not what they think of stereotypes, especially for Hispanics and Hispanic and being part of the LGBT community. They let people know they're a couple committed to helping their community. Like progression, keep changing and keep About getting caring. growing. Caring for one another, what matters is like how they're helping with the community. Here in five years, I do hope that a lot of these boarded buildings are actually already new businesses. To continue growing and to have more opportunities. A lot of people that actually don't know laws or they need help and they don't know if there's actually help for them. People feel more comfortable and understanding of who we are now and they don't mind it and it's just Wapato growing. <laughs>